Good day everyone, my name is Ethan, and with my teammates Ashvini, Darren, Hansen, Joseph, Kenny, Victorious Deo, Tran, and our coach Sarah, we are Team Rober, and we are part of the 2021 A Hackathon Challenge. For the past few days, we have worked hard and partnered with numerous experts on various fields to solve a single problem. The delay of humanitarian relief goods delivery due to customs errors. Upon discussion and interview with relevant personnel, we have discovered that the primary problem is the presence of delays at the customs office of the respective countries. We have interviewed the customs officer in Vietnam and found out that this is mainly caused by mistakes or incomplete documentation meaning that the customs officer usually has to wait for the right documents to arrive before the item is cleared. The delay is prolonged as we need to notify many intermediate agents before getting to the original sender or donor. With this bureaucratic delay, the beneficiary cannot receive the help they need in time, reducing the effectiveness of humanitarian aid. Our project aims to benefit countries or organizations who are willing to donate and yet are not familiar with the recipient's country's customs requirements, including, but not limited to, tax exemption forms, national standard of goods, and others. Hence, they may send the item without the complete documentation, preventing said items from being processed by customs. To remedy this situation, we have decided to develop a web app which would provide the right legal document formats, as well as app updates to the item's current status in customs. In order to access this, donors must first create an account. Then, the user will go to the template tab. Here, they have to select the country they are shipping or donating from and to, before being prompted to fill in their personal details and item information. If there is any incorrectly filled or missing information, the system will indicate the error with a blue or red tick, respectively. If keywords of banned items are detected, the system will also flag the item in the table and show the CIQ law that prohibits the goods. After filling in the necessary information, they will then be able to download the compiled document. This compiled document is customized to the recipient country's customs format. Then, users will be directed to the checklist of other supporting documents that they have to send. After everything has been sent and the item has been received by customs, a tracking label will be generated by the receiving customs and sent to the sender. They can then enter this label into our website. After that, they will be able to view the current custom status of all their shipments. This will include the time taken to complete each step of the customs process, as well as the estimated time before customs clearance. If any delays are present, it will be highlighted in red and they will immediately be informed of the cost and steps to fix it through email. A live chat function will also be available to facilitate direct communication and feedback from the customs officers to the sender. This way, amendments and resubmission of the correct documents can be made easier and faster. Our project will be user-friendly. It will be easy for the user to navigate the site and spot errors when filling in the forms. This will mean that all documents sent out for every delivery will have minimal problems as all the requirements will be fulfilled with the assistance of the app. Moreover, this also saves time for both the donor and the recipient in processing their deliveries, which allows critical aid to reach their target destination as efficiently as possible, minimizing the loss of lives due to delayed aid. Not only that, our app design has also been streamlined to accommodate customizability on behalf of the user while also ensuring robust and accurate framework to ensure credibility and satisfaction of the customer. Last but not least, customs from each nation can also update their respective country's customs re regulations, ensuring that all information received by the donor is accurate and credible.
As we look beyond our project, we observed a few key ideas that we can expand on. In its current state, our project has managed to mitigate errors on both donor and the recipient side. Nonetheless, we also acknowledge that there are still human factors, including our tracking system. Hence, we aim to make an API or application programming interface to automate the manual inputting of the items by the customs, thus eliminating the potential error that may arise from human mishap. For our project to be successful, we are assuming that the customs offices of each ASEAN member state will cooperate and will be willing to share the data of the packages with us. Additionally, for our template solution, we can utilize neural networks to better detect the keyword that might not be exactly stated in the regulations, preventing unnecessary mistakes. All in all, we hope that our project will achieve its aim of minimizing delays, ensuring efficient transport of essential humanitarian aids, thus saving more lives and families. Thank you, and we hope that you will be inspired by our project.